Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card, and this is Scorpio energy. So this is an energy of clarity. This is an energy of getting answers, the truth coming out. Someone could be being very honest with you. They could be confessing something to you. With the Judgment card, there's also an energy of a rebirth. So whatever this truth is that's coming out, it's transforming your relationship with this person completely. Like it's it's not just a minor confession, it's a big thing. Something quite major that does change the trajectory of the path that you're on with this person. This can be a positive energy, you know, because the death card, I mean, the judgment card can be an energy of rebirth, even second chances. So let's see. We have the nine of wands, fire energy. The eight of pentacles, earth energy and the Knights of Pentacles, Earth Energy. So this could be something that has been in the works for a while. You and this person, it's almost like there's something that has happened here. You've been through a lot with them. With the Nine of Wands, there is that energy of a wounded warrior. That's an energy of someone who has had to be resilient in a situation. So you guys could have been faced with a lot of challenges in this connection, or this person feels particularly challenged by the connection. But with the Nine of Wands and the Judgment card being here, we're seeing someone who is very rooted in this connection. Like even if it's hard, even if they've been through a lot with you, a lot of ups and downs, there is an energy with the Nine of Wands of not giving up. You know, it's an energy of someone who, you know, they're resilient. There's a, it's like they're giving something and more chances. They want another chance or they're giving this another chance. They're willing to give this a fighting chance. This is someone who sees you as worth fighting for. They see you as worth the efforts, worth the struggle. And with the Eight of Pentacles, there's an energy of putting in work. This person is aware that relationships, good relationships, require work and effort. And there's this, this energy of being ready and willing to put in the work with the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands there. This is not someone who's underestimating the journey, though. They are very invested in this and they're willing to, you know, even if it takes time, if it moves slowly, there's this feeling of wanting this to work out no matter what and taking on that responsibility of trying to make sure that at least on their part, they're showing up the way that they should, that they are investing in the correct way in order to give this connection a fighting chance. Okay, so with the Knight of Pentacles, there is also a very intentional energy. Like this is someone who knows what they want and they are determined and consistent with it. You know, they're consistent and patient with this connection. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords, and this is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. So this is also a very decisive energy. This person knows what they want. Like, they're very sure about this connection. They feel a sense of urgency when it comes to telling you something. Like, there's some sort of confession or truth that, that they need to reveal to you, and they feel like there's almost a now or never type of energy around that. Let's see. We have the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. The Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, and we have the Devil in the Reverse. Capricorn Energy. Yeah, this person does want a healthy relationship with you. There's something, though, that they've been struggling with or something, something they've been keeping to themselves because they've been afraid of telling you. It really does feel like an energy of the truth setting them free with the devil being there in the reverse and the judgment and the knights of swords being here. So this is someone who's coming in with a lot of communication and it's not just, 
empty communication, it's important communication. Um, ultimately, it does look like we've got reconciliation energy here. So this is someone who is speaking their truth to you. Also, in addition, they've got the intention of being with you, partnering with you, making it work with you, um, making sure this relationship with you lasts. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have you're very close to achieving your goal. Give us moon. Okay, we have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay, so it could have something to do with their career or their finances. There's some sort of truth that they want to tell you. Let's see. We have morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory which blooms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. So yeah, this person is very intentional, very determined to come towards you. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender comparisons with other people. Keep your eyes trained on yourself. Focus on your own strengths, attractiveness, and power. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, um, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.